Right then, so this is a tester to see if the microphone actually works for one, and two, if I can actually do it. So this may or may not end up on YouTube, we shall see. This is our starter sim, Amelia James. The outfits are these. I just kind of threw a little bit of anything on, mainly because of the fact that I play with CC normally, but as the game has only just updated, I decided to give this a try without. So this is going to be an attempt at a Rags to Riches series, but that is only reliant on whether the microphone works and whether, well mainly just whether the microphone works to be fair, so we shall see. I will start in spring like I normally do, although that might turn out to be a bad idea weather wise. So I'm going to go into Willow Creek because I know this has the majority of the options where you could dig and also find plants and things to harvest, so we shall go here. Right, so as I don't actually want to start with any money whatsoever. I am going to try and remove it. Yeah. Right, so I think the best thing to do is already find her a job. And as her aspiration revolves around writing, I think I should probably put her into the writer career. But because of the fact that we don't have a home yet or any money, she is unable to complete the daily task that is needed. So I'm going to start looking around for things for her to dig. The mushrooms aren't harvestable yet. I think my boastful assessment about harvestables and things to dig may have just come back to bite me as all the harvestables are not ready to harvest. Okay. I think I might just have to set it. Oh, here we are. Something to dig. See what we can get from this. I can't actually see what she's harvested because it's behind the microphone button. Oh, okay. She's got some quartz, so that's 36 simoleons. I'll set her off to fish while have a look around for something else. Hopefully Hopefully by the time it becomes night, she'll have at least somewhere to sleep. I seem to just overlook everything that was able to be dug up. Well, 
she's managed to find herself a lump of clay, which is not quite what I was going for. But, oh, 150 simoleons looks perfect. It's a welcome wagon, but there's not really anything to welcome you into. But they do have food. So, I come over and speak to these. Smurgis, Tour of Quink, Kuzip, Cleavar, Oh, Naba Quink. what you're supposed to do when neighbours come uh, around to just right. walk off and leave them but They don't seem to hate us, so that's a good thing. Ooh. So, so far she has found a fossil rock and a John Quillist, which will bring us a fair amount of money in. Wrap to claw. I'm aware that if I find another frog, that I can breed them and keep bringing money in that way. So I won't immediately sell this one. Just sell it as it is, it needs to be opened. So, a poppy doll. I'm sure with that amount, I can at least get. Can I get a box with a bed in? Or not? So, what's the cheapest bed that I can get? 240. That's be this for now. And how much are some walls? 60. Okay, I can't afford a box with a bed in, but I can afford a wall with a bed against. So I guess that that's probably better than nothing. Can I put a roof on this? No. No. Can I have just started? Let's see if there's anything else around that I can find. Oh. Oh, no, okay. I'm gonna have to send it back to fishing, aren't I? But 
at least at the moment all of her needs are pretty full. I mean at some point she is going to need the toilet. And socialising shouldn't be too difficult because the neighbours are still on the lot. I've never actually taken long enough to actually look properly at Sims when they're fishing and the concentration for a few minutes and shock is interesting. <laughs> She's also starting to get hungry, which is concerning. Oh, uh, <laughs> I might have to send her to a park. Because the neighbour didn't leave the meatloaf. And she needs the toilet. So, might make things a bit easier if I go to a park, see if there's anything else there that can be dug up or harvested. I was hoping by the end of at least the first episode to have her with a, a box with a bed and what you need to keep them alive, essentially. But I'm aware that my mother is on her way home and needs to use the office for work, so I need to speed it up and get as much done as possible. So let's see. First, oh, she really, really needs a toilet. So send her in there. Then, has anybody made any food and left it lying around? No. Drink and drinking water put your hunger up or not. Oh, it can. Well, they're going to be drinking a lot of water then. really getting us very far very quickly but it's something but it is making a need the toilet again I feel like we're going around in circles now so maybe stop with the water I might let her I know we're trying to save money but I might let her do something food-wise from here. What's the cheapest option? 
the cheapest option seems to be hot dogs. So I'm going to do some hot dogs. Seems pretty happy with herself anyway. Oh, no way. <laughs> Those hot dogs are looking a little bit burnt though. Your inventory, don't just leave them behind. Hopefully, they're going to last us a few days. And I apologise if you can hear creaking, my computer chair is ever so slightly wobbly, so the slightest movements make it creak like the Titanic. Let's see. Um, we're talking for a bit. With a friendly introduction to Justice. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, we'll be getting to know him a bit. Oh, it's annoying. Right, Mr. Four. Can Kubu Koiba? Mm hmm. Oh, yes. Hey, food, Hemba. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yes! Leave Bingoya! Serenixu! Huh? Shem! Spala Gorbanehi! Quinny? We sue? Oh, we ain't gal nifla! Thank you, Lishu! Let's go back to Korea. Lamina gal for what's in it? Karina! No less! Okay, so just as I decided to walk off, but... May as well try and make friends with Siobhan. So bright and hair day as well. Can Kubu Koiba? Ah, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's. Every Yeah, very true. Come on. Ask her about her. Any first year? Tell dramatic story. Mm. Maybe she wants to be a writer. We might as well start telling stories to people before we can write them down to books. Oh wow, okay, so that story was so dramatic that it managed to throw her out of her seat. I think we may as well go home. Go and sleep in our nice bed. Even if we haven't got a roof over our heads yet. I will send her to bed and I will leave this here see if the microphone has actually worked or not and 
decide what I'm going to do with it and whether I continue or whether we leave this here. Okay, so thank you for watching.